So here is another question from CAT 2021. Slot 1, quantitative aptitude section. This in my set was question number 4. So 5 minus log under root of 1 plus x to the base 10 plus 4 log under root of 1 minus x to the base 10 is equal to log of 1 upon under root of 1 minus x square to the base 10. So we must know a few properties here. Number 1, log of a into b must be equal to log a to the base 10 plus log b to the base 10. This is the first property that we must know. Second property that we ought to know <coughs> is log b to the base a is equal to n implies that a to the power n must be equal to b. So if you know these two properties, you will sail through this question. It's very easy to solve. Let us solve. So I simplify this as log 1 plus x to the base 10 plus 4 log under root of 1 minus x to the base 10 and this is equal to, I can write this as log to the base 10. Now 1 upon under root of 1 minus x square can be written as 1 upon under root of 1 minus x into 1 upon under root of 1 plus x. So I can simplify this as 5 minus log to the base 10 1 plus x plus 4 log to the base 10 1 minus x is equal to log of I can write this as log of minus log of under root of 1 minus x and minus log to the base 10 of under root of 1 plus x. Why so? Because one more property might be required log of 1 upon a is equal to log of a to the power minus 1 which is equal to minus log of a. That is the property we have applied on the right hand side. So when we simplify this, we can see that minus log of 1 plus x to the base 10, this cancels on both the sides and we will get 5 is equal to minus 5 log under root of 1 minus x to the base 10. So I can rewrite this as log of under root of 1 minus x to the base 10 is equal to minus 1. Now using our second property, what will we get? 10 to the power minus 1 is equal to under root of 1 minus x. So on squaring both the sides, I will get 1 by 10 whole square is equal to 1 minus x or x must be equal to 1 minus 1 by 100 which is equal to 99 by 100. So x must be equal to 99 by 100. But the question asks you what is the value of 100x? So 100x must be equal to 100 into 99 by 100 which is your answer as 99.